What's going on and welcome back to another episode of Redefining Issued Equipment. And in this video, we're going to be going over the setup and configuration of the new Army Issued Advanced or Airborne Tactical Assault Panel or ATAPS for short in the 40 millimeter or, grenad or Grenadier configuration. So uh, with that, just a couple of caveats up front. This one is going to be a little bit different just because of the way that the 40 millimeter rounds are going to sit on the system. So uh, before I get too far into it, I want to talk about those things so that way you're tracking uh, before we get into the, the nitty gritty. So when it comes to the 40 millimeter pouches, these are the Eagle Industry ones uh, you can see here. They work, but I don't think that they're the best ones for this configuration. Unfortunately, I cannot find my Blue Force Gear 40 millimeter pouch, and I only have one. So I will be doing a whole another video on this in the future uh, with those pouches, so that way you can see how that would actually come together. Because with those Blue Force Gear pouches, they are adjustable. You can move the uh, the strap that retains the round up and down to where you can fit the larger rounds that are in there where these you can really only work with the he and the hedp where the other ones you can work with uh, flares and, and the other rounds that are out there in conjunction with that i have most of these just capable of pulling off so that way you can kind of see how this system is going to be stacked compared to the other systems uh, with the 40 millimeter system uh, you typically do have to stack rounds and it is making your kit a little bit wider but it is nice having those rounds just up front on your kit. So uh, one way to set up your left hand side of the system is to use a triple mag panel, or you can just purchase a, um, a double mag and then a single mag, depending on how you want to have your kit. My recommendation, I would go with the double mag and then a single mag. So then that way, if you fill a leadership position in the future, you're just removing that single mag pouch. You can drop it down to a, a gun belt and then add a radio pouch. So it makes tailoring your kit over time a little bit easier. Or if you just want to do the general um, army issue triple mag pouch, you can definitely do that as well. But you'll need the molly on that pouch to be able to run your 40 millimeter grenades or pouches. So that's kind of how that is stacked on this side. On the other side, instead of running a flashbang pouch for your multi-tool or a multi-tool pouch, I would recommend purchasing the HSGI version of the Taco pouch. This is the, the first spear or the tier tactical version of it, I should say. I would get the HSGI version. It's a little bit better. If you want to go with, say, the some machine gun version, you could also do that as well because it's a little bit longer, so you'll have a little bit more space molly-wise. But you, all you need is really the pistol mag version of it. Uh, and then some 550 cord because you might have to run 550 cord to the actual ATAPS panel system and then 550 cord the last section of Molly in between everything that you see here. So it's just a couple of things in, in notes that I wanted to make so that way you can see how this stacks, how the system stacks on itself uh, because of the 40 millimeter pouches and how you can access additional Molly by making those little modifications. So. With that, I'm going to start from the left and move over to the right so that way you guys can see what's going on. I'm not going to molly anything just for the sake of time, um, but that way you can see how this whole system comes together. So I'll just put these down here for now. And then at the end, um, we'll go over the back panel portion and how you can set up and configure this uh, in the event that you don't want to go watch the other videos where I talk about that. So starting left and moving to the right, we have our tactical tailor light fighter or fight light double mag panel with the molly on the front i would recommend buying another one just the single magazine uh, as well so then that way you have the molly right here and then that'll hold your magazines uh, if you want to throw a, you can throw a med kit inside of a magazine pouch depending on how big that med kit is but having an additional or a separate standalone med kit next to that is is recommended so that way if your unit requires that as your SOP for the med kit to be on the cummerbund, you can definitely do that or on the panel. Uh, with that, when you have all of this set up from there, you'll go in and attach your 40 millimeter pouches to the magazine pouches. And then that way you can carry four 40 millimeter or four 40 millimeter rounds on either side of your kit. I'm not going to tell you how to configure which rounds in which places. That's going to be really up to you and how, uh, what works best for you when it comes down to it. So shooter's preference. 
Uh, with that, that's kind of the left-hand side right there. Moving over to the right-hand side, like I said earlier, we're gonna replace that flashbang pouch with like a uh, pistol taco pouch of some sorts. If you wanna run another rifle mag pouch over here, you absolutely can. Or if you wanna go big army answer and just put the triple mag pouch here, you can also do that as well. So options as far as getting that real estate that you need for those uh, pouches um, or for the molly to be able to molly the pouches on there. Um, we got a small general purpose pouch for night vision. So this is just the aviators, air crew kind of small general purpose pouch for uh, a lot of the army aviation units. This comes in their kit. This will fit PVS 31s, PVS 14s, PSQ 20s, all of the monoculars for the most part, all of that will fit in here. It does get a little tight for PVS 15s, so just be cognizant of that. But that general purpose pouch is set up for your night vision or whatever other mission essential equipment that you may need. Uh, with that, once you have your double mag panel and your either single pistol mag pouch or the triple mag panel, whichever one you wanna go with, you'll be able to just molly all of these right on top of it. And then one note, because this side is a little bit more congested and you have a little bit more going on, you may either need to shift this pouch over just a little bit and then molly into your adjustment straps for the side panels, or you can just take 550 cord, run it through the molly loops here or through the entire pouch and then just tie it off to the molly that's on the inside of the uh, inside of that pistol mag pouch where your multi-tool will probably be sitting. So, uh, so it'll look generally like that when it's all put together, as long as you're purchasing the right pouches and setting everything up correctly. Um, I do apologize for not having the Blue Force gear pouches. They are much better for this configuration. So keep an eye out for that future video where I have everything set up exactly the way that I'm saying it. I just don't have all that stuff here right now. With that, taking all of this off so that way you guys can kind of see what's going on with the actual back panel portion. I do like having either the tag or tactical assault gears mission sustainment pack, the mini version of this, which is right here, to where you can customize it even a little bit more. And this is where I think this one would excel a little bit better for the Grenadier system because with this, you can add additional Grenadier pouches or 40 millimeter pouches to be able to run additional rounds. So then that way your kit as a whole has probably six on your back and then eight on the front of your kit and then if you're running a gun belt or whatever and you have additional rounds on your belt you can also run that as well so i do think that this mini pack would be a better configuration for for the grenadier system uh, in conjunction with that you can also because of the way that this will sit on your back you could also run a couple of rounds on the bottom of the back molly section uh, or back molly panel that's a part of the ATAP system. So it gives you a lot of options. Uh, you'll just have to be careful about how you configure the rounds on your lower back because if you're flipping the pouches upside down, you do run the risk of those pouches opening up and then dropping the rounds. So uh, just something to be cognizant of. You can also go with the mat pack from Eagle Industries or the beaver tail from Eagle Industries. It prevents you from having to run around with the pack. Whether you run any one any one of the four that I've talked about, it'll all set you up for success. All of them have a large primary pocket to be able to throw a hydration pouch in there, cold weather gear, food, any other mission essential equipment that you may need. Um, and then you have the capability with the tag versions to run three mags on top here. I think that is critical for the 40 millimeter setup because of how much weight you have up front on your kit uh, with all of both your rifle ammo as well as the 40 millimeter ammo. So I would I would recommend running one of these two tag versions of the pack on your back. You also have some space for a multi-tool, small general purpose pouches, whether you get this full size one or the mini, you'll have the space to be able to carry a couple of other additional items. But with that, when it comes to setting up any one of those four bags with the molly on the back of it, kind of how you can configure it. So looking at the system, you have Molly on the shoulder straps, you have Molly on your lower back panel that's down here, and then you have your vertical horizontal straps. Or I should say horizontal. You have your vertical back straps uh, on your back right there. So 
configuring this is pretty simple. You'll just take the top molly section uh, on the pack and on the, uh, the shoulder strap portion, you'll molly that together. And then I highly recommend if you're not gonna use a Fire Force uh, Molly 2 panel for additional molly, zip tying everything together as well with the molly so that way it keeps everything nice and secure and you don't have this shifting around on your shoulders. Um, in addition to that, you'll do the same thing down here at the bottom with this larger pack. If you go with the smaller pack, it's probably gonna attach on this top row right there. It's gonna be really close and that's where I think the uh, Fire Force panel or yeah, the Fire Force Molly 2 panel would come in really well here is because then you'd have that space to be able to molly everything together and then run your horizontal or your vertical back straps uh, up and down across all of that. So um, with that though, if you can't do that, one thing you can do is you can take these vertical straps out of the bottom of the harness. You'll have to cut the bottom end off of this because it's folded over and sewn. And if it's on there, you won't be able to pass it through the uh, little adjustment piece that you have up top here. So you'll have to cut that off. Once that's cut, you can pull that entire system out. And then what you'll do is from the top of this uh, Molly back panel portion, you'll run that through the Molly, as many Mollies as you have on your pack system. And then you'll pass it through your adjustment pieces, make any adjustments for your kit, um, make sure it feels comfortable. And then you'll run just your extra material back through everything and then stow it down at the bottom of the pack for the most part. So that's how that kind of comes together. Just make sure that if you're capable of mollying everything together, molly it together and then zip tie it to reinforce it because the way that this system works without that fire force system, uh, it'll just start shifting around on you way too much. So running these vertical straps through the actual pack will help keep things in place and keep it more comfortable. So uh, with that, that pretty much concludes this setup. Again, I do apologize for not having those Blue Force gear pouches. Um, keep an eye out for the future video that, I, uh, that I'll make for the Grenadier system. I'll set it up to where you have the mini uh, sustainment pack up here with everything in it with the additional rounds. I'll set it up to where you have rounds at the bottom here and then the rounds that are on the sides. Uh, once all of that is put together. So just in closing, so that we can see it one more time, this is what it would look like, at least in this configuration. And then in the future, you definitely can throw rounds at the bottom here and up at the top. So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. We'll answer any questions that you have and help you out in any way that we can. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.